Hello, this is James Howe of Helm Enterprises Forging Division. We are on the family farm today in Central Texas, instead of south of San Antonio. Since uh, my loving wife accidentally missed hitting the record button whenever we were doing the two before chop, since the giant sized mosquitoes were trying to carry her off, I took the opportunity of having my friend Britt here to um, record me whopping on this mesquite tree instead. Mesquite wood is not the hardest wood, but it is a hard wood. And it can be kind of tenacious sometimes. But let's see how it does. For those of y'all unfamiliar with mesquite trees, they have very long, sharp, hard thorns. They will poke a hole in a tire if you drive over it. So, and the, they can grow those in these little thin whippy branches. So, if you're hitting them, you kind of want to clear out the little whippy branches out of the way of where you might hit them with your hand before it starts wailing into the larger branches. So, we're going to start by clearing a few small stuff out of the way, get it prepped where we can safely take some big swings. Ah, missing it. There we go. I'm going to knock this dead one out of the way with the back. Take a few more little ones. Okay. I'll take one more. Get that out of my eyes. Alright, um, when you're cutting, especially on a live tree like this, your angle is important. Not just the cutting tool, or how sharp it is, but how you approach it. So part of dealing with clearing out the mesquite tree is seeing what your approach of attack needs to be. So I'm not actually clearing this out like I normally would, usually you have to cut down into the ground with an axe and bust up the root ball and then poison the diesel to keep it from coming back. Today I'm not actually clearing it, I'm just doing some cutting demos. So I'm going to aim to take this branch off in as few hits as possible. I'm going to try to keep my blade coming in at about a 45 degree angle to the flow of the grain. And then I might come in at about a 90 or so and blast the chips out if I don't pretty quick. Science! So here we go. This is about probably two inch diameter or more. Let's see how it does. I cut most of the way through. It deflected a little bit. So a lot of the power kind of went down instead of across. If all the power had gone across it probably would have cut it through. So that was a single swing there. You can see it really cut most of the way through. There's only a little bit of that soft bark holding it and the pan up the branch. The uh, other branch is holding its weight up. So if that branch wasn't holding its weight, it would have fallen over and, and pulled itself free from the tree. So basically a one hit cut, when you get the angle good, it cut through about a three inch, two inch, um, diameter branch in a single swing. So we'll go ahead and cut that down the rest of the way. Move it out. We'll see how it does on its neighbor. Now this one's growing at a little different angle, so rather than coming in quite the same, I'm going to come a little more straight down. But it'll still be about a 45 in relation to how the flow of the grain goes. So that's over halfway through that one. That's, that's about four inches in diameter. Cut about three quarters of the way through. There you go. Come over here. 
over here, Brett? Let me get that out of your way. Okay, I'm going to cut just some various little branches off. See how clean that was? I didn't even feel any resistance going through that. Right here. Oops, deflected. There you go. As thick as that is, I barely felt it go through when I got the angle correct. I was a little bit surprised at how easily it went through. There's a lot of power behind this sucker. Swinging two-handed with a good wood chopping blade. Those of y'all that have seen the other video, which you should have, saw that I shaved hair off my leg for the full length of that. So a lot of leverage, a lot of cutting power with a very sharp blade. Cut through this nicely. Go for a little thicker. I'm going to knock this out of the way first. So let's see what something that would make a good uh, campfire size log. And see, I'm left handed. My angle of approach is a little bit blocked by this one. So I might actually start with it. Get the little branches out of the way. I'm going to aim at this one. It's about halfway. It deflected down a little bit. That was four cuts. See how thick that is? That's a little bit bigger around than my wrist. Four cuts out of mesquite tree. That's doing pretty good. I'm hitting it kind of lightly because I don't want to go through and hurt myself accidentally. Get that out of the way. Cut on this one now. This one has a larger section of hardwood, of heartwood right in there. The sapwood on this is pretty soft. The heartwood is fairly hard. So you can see I'm running into more resistance on this branch than I did on this one. It's taking a few more hits. trouble with it because my angle's off a bit. Cutting angle is very important. That's part of the fun and challenge of clearing out a mesquite tree is trying to get your angle right. I didn't even feel that one. <laughs> Cut through, had my angle just beautiful. I heard it hit, I didn't feel it hit. That's how cleanly it cut it. Get around here for I have a little better angle on that one. Try not to trip over the loose branches. Enough to make 
that one full. It's not cut all the way through, but it's pretty loose. I talked in the other video about how this was lively enough to handle decently one-handed. It doesn't really have a real good angle on it, but let's see how it does one-handed. Holding it. side some, it'll drop quicker. If I can get my aim, aim right. So, it would have been faster and easier two-handed. I'm not just totally exhausted doing it one-handed. Yeah, I got that cut loose. Last one left. take very long with me sitting here talking to get the truth and get this member where you can get in easily to the base of it with an axe and finish busting it up, dig up the root ball, poison the roots, and have a mesquite tree cleared out the field and you're ready to load up stuff and haul it over to your burn pile. No damage to the edge. I doubt it would shave hair right now. But it's still a working edge that you could do this kind of cutting all day long. So, thank you for watching. Hope to show you some more neat stuff here soon. Thank you. Nice.